Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival is not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. The next Navy patrol isn't due for another two weeks. You're a long way from home, Commander. Home is a state of mind. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. One, two, three... Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Get out of here. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Sarin's flunky? Where? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood.
Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. If Lady Benezia is here, it might be wise to bring Niara along. She knows her mother better than we do. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley. Deck. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for?
I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I want to know where this package is going. The customer is the Krogan called Inam. Now, does the other have the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. 
I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, a skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. If you have any tips, I'd appreciate them. It would reflect well on you and Binary Helix. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, we don't perform espionage on our competitors. That would be illegal. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with you. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights Office. For the moment? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. 
The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Sorry, the hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account. Don't hang up. Elder brother, it's me. I'm on the very end. Beat it. Make us regret letting you keep those guns. How can I help you? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix, they work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? 
Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? Odd that you shouldn't mind their presence. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. Henshan Security, this office is sealed. Laura Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a Varen up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you.
I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? If you want to fight, I'll give you one. You talk the talk. Let's see if you can walk after I break your legs. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas's thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? I thought corruption was the rule on Novarian. The rule is, don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. What's happening up on Peak 15? Before the weather closed in, Hanchan received a Code Omega signal from him. Code Omega means a terminal breach of safety protocols. No one goes up until the crew sends an all clear. 
That doesn't tell me much. That's all I've got. No one knows what's going on up there. How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Do you know why the Matriarch is here? Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, the automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do, for that matter. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it? I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board was already investigating Analeas. They're concerned about the worm and their own fruit. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be alright. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer.
How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. I heard the administrator's been arrested. Any chance you had something to do with that? That was the internal affairs investigator working for the executive board. Ha! <laughs> internal affairs inspectors all at once, eh? Analeas is having a bad week. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeas, and the Matriarch came through. Do you know where that Matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. What was that about synthetic insights? Analeas had shut down SI. Looks like he was trying to blackmail them. It happens often enough. He got caught this time, though. Looks like the executive board is going to feed him to the Nathak. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Alutsk Valley. I'd say these are what the Matriarch had in the crates. No one gets in or out. What did you do here, Commander? The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to... 
Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the Veil. What is happening out there? The same thing that happens to all species, Captain. Evolution. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic.
on me. have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Form up. To me. Form up. On me. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out.
was that? Animals? Wind? This place is in bad shape. On me. Someone in the labs knows. System Shepard must be for the station mainframe. The damage is not extensive. It could be critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Help would be great. Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to binary helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. 
Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines, and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at hot labs. Contaminants released from laboratory pod gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at hot labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to hot labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Why were you taken offline? In the event Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes, my program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. I need instructions on how to repair the station. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Manual restart required. Passenger trams are offline.
User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance specific query that's all I need right now very well commander logging you out User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required.
compliance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. To me. That's the last of them. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. The staff is alive then? Yes though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. Why is Rift Station locked down? Emergency procedures require each facility to isolate itself to prevent the spread of contagion. It would also appear that there are several employees quarantined for medical treatment. If it's locked down, will I be able to enter? The passenger trams can bring you to the facility. Further access will be at the discretion of the security forces there. Give me a status report on the hot labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. decontamination and transit hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. They are locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks- Heads up! Control group, loosen them. They're in... Can't escape. We're in the tunnels now. We're sorry. 
the leads couldn't get to the feet of the struck. Cut out while you can. <laughs> to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Regroup! On me. <sighs> Departing Central Station. Destination? Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them, coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What can you tell me about the aliens? 
Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go, go, go! Thanks for the help. Every few hours a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Araeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Did I interrupt something? I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? That's all for now. Then I will return. Science pukes. She just bug out and leave to die. All their fault anyway. <laughs> bug out. What? No! <sighs> Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? 
Nothing, I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Ragnar. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. 
We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door, I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. You're not part. Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. is online and ready to provide emergency services. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. L what, what? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature, but there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Is there a cure, Doctor? A treatment? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? 
I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Your mission ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. What happened to Ventralis' man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free!
They came out of there. Who came out of what? The synthetics that attacked you. Venezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. 
Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. 
You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Ah, oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a...
This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but... Uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near the I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. <laughs>
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Ragnar War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? <laughs> if you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination. Her intelligence. Her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, 
Letting me be part of your team, I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Garrus. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. Your assignment to Elysium. It put you in the right place at the right time. Your character made you rise to the occasion. And that got you here, commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. It's good to know where I stand with the galaxy. Where do I stand with you? About a meter away. Maybe 1.2 meters. Sorry. I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. I hope you can wait. I'll just requisition myself some cold showers. That's the spirit, Skipper. Keep a stiff upper... something. I'll warn you, though, I'm a Hellcat off the battlefield, too. Sleep tight, Shepard. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Were you afraid of her? What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. 
I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive, and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander.